You know, I've always contended that you could get a sense of the spirit or soul of a folk by the kind of songs that they sang. But every once in a while, I'm thrown a conundrum. In this case, I'm talking about the early 1880s in the Kentucky, West Virginia hills. Uh, in fact, it was right up along Turkey Foot Ridge, I think. Randall McCoy, and then over on the other side, uh, Devil Anst Hatfield. Hatfield and the McCoys. Cantankerous folk that got involved in a feud. Some folks said it was because of a, a pig. Others said it was no a Romeo Juliet kind of situation. And some folks said it was politics. But regardless, that feud lasted for a couple generations, kept killing each other. So this is a song that comes to mind when I'm thinking of Hatfield and McCoy. song, the same song, loved it. In fact, they sang it to their respective grandchildren. This is the song. It's called Pretty Sorrow. some lone valley in a far lonesome place 
where the wild birds do whistle their notes to increase farewell pretty sorrow i bid you adieu and i'll dream of pretty sorrow the whole night through my love she don't love me and i understand she loves a freeholder with house and land i cannot maintain her with silver and gold and all of the fine things that a big house can hold. Now if I were a merchant and could write a fine hand, I'd write her a letter that she'd understand. I'd write by in the river where the waters o'erflow and dream a pretty sorrow wherever I go. Yes, a conundrum. <laughs>